finding images from your hard drive can be a really time-consuming task. I have 356,000 images on my Lightroom catalog, and I use Exire Search for that, for searching the images, I mean. But there's also a standalone version of the same software called Exire Photo, and that software just got an upgrade today. Let's look into that software and see what it is all about. Hi, it's Peter here, and a disclaimer. This software was, was sent to me from Exire, and also they provided me the registration key, so they gave me the software. They did not ask me to do this video, nor did they, you know, saw this video before or paid anything. They just gave me the software to test, and I thought it might be something that you might want to learn about if you don't use Lightroom. This is a good option. Two new things were added. It can find duplicates and then the maximum amount of results you can get is 50,000. It used to be 5,000, so quite a big improvement. And when you have 356,000 images, 5,000 might not be enough for some searches. So that's a very good thing that the amount of images that can be shown in the results are vastly improved. And let's take a look what the user interface looks like in Exire Photo. I imported 23,000 images and they are all from 2015. The reason I did not import everything is that I won't be using this software. I will be using the Exire Search instead, which is a plugin for Lightroom. The AI is exactly the same, so I don't need the standalone software. But the standalone software is very good. If you do not use Lightroom, then this is a really, really good option. To add images, is just to press this add button and then choose the uh, folder that you want to include in your import or add, I don't know what they call it, but you know, you import the images into the software or the information about the photographs that you have on your hard drive and it will, you know, sort them and then give them uh, keywords and all that so that the images become searchable and you don't need to have any keywords in the metadata of the image. The Exire search will make those keywords. And it took about one hour and 20 minutes to add these images. So it takes some time if you want to have all your images. And if you have a big catalog of images, then it might take a little while. So you don't, you might want to do that during a time that you don't need the computer for anything else, because of course it slows down the computer when it does the, when it does the magic and add all those keywords. The search tools in photo and search are the same, the AI is the same. The only difference is that Photo has duplicate finder, which we'll be looking later in this video. To find an image by a keyword, you click this, and then you choose the keywords that you want to use. And you can use, of course, multiple, and you can add colors if you want. And let's try car. It has 316 images of cars that I took in 2015. And let's see how good the results are. And as you can see, it's not perfect, and it tends to add people that have glasses or round glasses, they are identified as cars, but it's easy to just get rid of them. You just press this and voila, the keyword is gone. And of course, this time you also need to remove the vehicle from the keyword list. And the next time you make the same search, this, this particular image won't be included. If it makes a lot of mistakes, then it's a bad thing. But I think this software is good enough, or at least the Lightroom version has been very useful for me finding images when I, you know, do these YouTube videos and I need some certain images. It's easy to find them, a lot easier than it used to be anyways. And let's test how it can find duplicates. And when you press this, then you can see that there are some options. You can exclude, for example, JPEGs, which might be a good thing if you have those uh, JPEGs that have been converted from raw images, then it won't identify those as duplicates. As you can see, it found a few duplicates in my catalog. And what I can do if I want is to flag them and then just delete them. And that's a very good way of, of uh, getting you know more organized with your images to, to get rid of the duplicates. And if you're interested in getting either the search or photo from Exire, there are links in the description. They are affiliate links and you know how it works. I get a small commission if you decide to buy, but of course you don't pay any extra. So it's a win-win situation. And if you're a Lightroom user, you might want to watch that video. There is more info about Exire Search. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.